beautiful people welcome back happy sunday to you all hoa and i are here in the studio it's after midnight which is kind of my favorite time to pour um, <laughs> the other night i did a little flip cup with some leftover paints and i was so enchanted with it and i just i love the way that it turned out so i kind of want to play with that again uh, tonight we're going to be using some This Little Piggy pigments, which I'm really excited about. Uh, we're doing a This Little Piggy Valentine's Day collaboration coming up on February 12th that I hope you will join us for. Um, let's get started. This is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have painted my sides and edges and I put my tape in and put my push pins in. So that's all ready to go. The colors that we're using the first one is really exciting. These are the piggies we're using tonight. This first one is Deja Vu, which is so pretty. Can you see that, Ajoy? Mm -hmm. Beautiful color. I first fell in love with this when I was doing those resin flowers, the three-dimensional resin molds. Really, really pretty color. I love the way it dries. Kind of a very hot neon pink, so <laughs> that's really fun. The next one we're gonna be using is this one which does not look like this. This is Violet Rain, which is one of the newer piggies that has come out and it's absolutely gorgeous. This beautiful, deep, sultry, dark violet color. Um, everything is mixed with mixed pour tonight in my Tipsy Piggy recipe. Well, I will link for you that video up here in the corner so that you can watch, which is very simple. Basically about, you know, a few teaspoons of isopropyl alcohol, a scoop of the piggies, mix those two together, and then I have added mixed pour as my pouring medium, which is a lot of fun. Nice, beautiful consistency. Not too thick tonight, not too thin. Can you see that like beautiful color flash on there, HOA? So pretty. Okay, so that's the Violet Rain. And the next one is one of my absolute favorite piggies. This one is Brulee, which is gorgeous. Just so beautiful. I actually wanna show you the last piece that we did that had the Brulee in it and I had used Boastful in that one. So this is our brulee. See how much that one has a beautiful gold color shift, HOA? Can you oh, yeah. see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's our brulee. Move those over. And then we have my Decoart Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Beautiful stuff. This one is just a smidge thicker than the rest of them. I like my gold to be a little bit time thicker so it doesn't get lost, because if your gold is too thin, It'll blend with everything and you just end up with this gold sheen on the surface, which I don't want. I actually want distinct ribbons of color. The last one we are using is Golden's Prussian Blue. Another one of my favorite, favorite colors ever. Gorgeous. Not super thick. Slight mound before it sinks into itself. Beautiful. Okay, so let me show you that other piece. So this one is Mystic Seas. I wanted to show you guys how pretty this dried with the boastful in there, which I can actually really see. It's amazing. And the brulee, that beautiful, shifty, ivory sort of gold color. This one turned out really, really pretty. And I think I'm definitely going to put a coat of resin on top of this one just to bring back a little bit more of that pop. But I love what's happened in here. I love the composition. Very, very pretty. I know it looks pretty different than it did when we were pouring it, but just beautiful stuff. Can you see any of that emeraldy green color, HOA? Mm -hmm. That's the boastful. And then in here is the 
brulee. So very happy with how this one turned out. I love it. So we're going to do a flip cup. I'm just going to take a 16 ounce cup and we're going to layer it and we're going to pour it on there and we're going to tilt it up. Um, let's start with a little bit of brulee in the bottom. And I'm just going to layer this. I might give it a mildly dirty thing at the end with just a shot of brulee or a shot of gold through there. Let's put some Prussian blue in there. And let's use some of that deja vu. Beautiful color. And some gold. Put a little bit more of the brulee now. Is there a secret to how you're layering that? Well, with piggies, what I was always told, and this was back in the very beginning when I first started using them when I was still trying to do bloom swipes with Karen, um, she told me to use a layer of piggies and then an opaque color and then another layer of piggies and then another opaque. So you're sandwiching the piggies between opaque colors. We're mostly following that, but Right now, like I do have the violet rain on top of the brulee, but that's just because I want the contrast there. But that's okay. I'm gonna put another layer of brulee in, and then we're gonna do that again. Prussian blue. Some deja vu. Some gold. Another layer of the violet rain. And this is gonna deepen up and darken a lot as it gets drier. I think we're gonna put one more shot of brulee on the bottom. And then one more layer of the violet rain. Very full for flip cut. Get rid of our gold out. It's too over. Let me scoot over there. I'm gonna pour a little bit of paint on my cheek. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a lot or just a little? Just a little. Okay, let's pour a puddle of gold. And I'm gonna flip that cup into that puddle. And the reason that we do this is as that spreads out, the gold is very thin and has the possibility of coming up as little gold cells, which are really, really pretty. So. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Okay, here we go. My friend Jeremy Massey had told me, when you're doing a flip cup, it's helpful to keep your elbow tucked in as you flip. It helps keep from making a big, huge mess everywhere. This is already looking really pretty with all these pretty cells. So we're gonna do a flip and lip. So we're gonna kind of move around a little bit and maybe lip it with the edge of the cup. Are you ready, darling? Yes, my love. Here we go. Break the seal on here. And let the paint move around. That's really pretty. I think this is going to be beautiful when it dries. take some of the deja vu and kind of go around this edge and towards our corners just to give our paint something to slide on should it need it and spread that out I think we probably have enough paint on there, but just as insurance. That's not a very thick layer of deja vu at all.
Okay, we're gonna give this a quick torch. around a little bit I love what's happening in here this is pretty it does look a little gray right now but again that's the Prussian blue and that violet rain so okay let's move this around a bit we're gonna kind of walk this down the canvas I'm gonna head over to that corner first towards the middle. corner first. pretty things happening in here. Lots of cells popping up. What do you think, HOA? It's a little dark, hmm? Yeah, but isn't that uh, the violet rain? Dry lighter? No, the violet rain is going to be dark when it dries. But the brulee is going to be that sort of shifty. I kind of want to do another cup, to be honest with you. But I don't know if I want to do it as a flip cup. I might want to do it as a, like a pour. A ring pour? No, not a ring pour. Paint's a little thin for a ring pour. A straight pour? Um, yeah, maybe. Let's see, let's start with a little bit of gold this time. Just a little bit. And some of that brulee. And I'm going to go with some Prussian blue. You can see. And we're going to put some the Deja Vu in there. And another layer of gold. And some more of the violet rain. And then go back to our Prussian again. snoring too. <laughs> See this is turning really pretty but I just I don't want it this dark and I think I got a lot of blending because we did the flip up. This is one of the things that I talk about a lot at Fluid Art Boutique especially in the beginners class we're going to be discussing how the different techniques create different effects. So specifically in that flip cup because all the colors were flipped over and let allowed to mix a lot we got a lot more blending. Yeah. Okay, here we go.
tool and keep that from going over the edge. All right. So there's a lot more distinct color. I see the brulee individually. I see the gold individually. I see the deja vu individually. And I do see that faint purpley color, which is going to be the violet rain. Okay. Let's tilt this up. Kind of walk this down. Now the paint is moving really easy now that there's already a layer of paint on there. So don't be afraid to repour. If you have paint left and you're not crazy about it, do it. And take this back to the center. And we're gonna head off this corner now. Float down to that bottom. That's pretty nifty. That part right there with the brulee and then the Prussian blue right around it is so pretty. Almost <laughs> reminds me of the Lorax's mustache. Hmm? <laughs> and the big old handlebar mustache right there. But I like this. I like these lines that we've created with that wandering pour. And I love the fact that we can see the brulee individually. And I really like what's happening around here around the edge of this where it got stretched. Very pretty. Some pretty gold boulder cells popping up. And we haven't torched it yet. So we're going to do that right now. usually one of the colors that I really like to work with but I really do appreciate that pop of color that's coming up through the Prussian I am glad I report it because we're getting the Prussian blue individually in here this is actually where that violet rain is so this is gonna be really interesting to see it when it dries but this is so pretty can you see all these little cells that are coming up HOA mm -hmm. cute cute okay make sure it's centered okay so I will show you guys this one when it's dry thank you so much for hanging out with us I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day um, please check out our website at fluidartboutique.com we have a lot of wonderful teachers Karen Dershin and Sarah Mack and Johnny Morrison will be there from GMO painting and Amanda Edwards from Crystal Coast Designs which is gonna be really fun they're amazing artists. They're really, really nice people too. So I'm really excited to be able to work with them. And uh, I hope we see you there in Santa Fe. We're going to be there April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. I'm teaching a big canvas class. I'm teaching my splendid split cups. I'm teaching a beginner's basics class. And we're doing my wildflower technique, which I think the next video we do is going to be a wildflower for. And we also have a really fun class at the end. The last class of the day is going to be Anything Goes. Um, there is no curriculum. You guys determine the curriculum. So if you have ideas and you want to come and hang out, and paint and explore and play, and let's, you know, play with your ideas together, that would be awesome. That's the Anything Goes class. So I hope we see you there. <laughs> what you doing, Bax? <laughs> warm and sunny mama I like it you do you like the sunshine where's my pretty boy Babsy. <laughs> come on baby want to get up 
No, I'm sunbathing. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay.